today I'll be showing you how to add a new listing on Redbubble. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step. Uh, so first, I actually found an, a niche. I'm gonna show you, on my last video, I showed you how to find trending niches. So I'm just gonna show you a niche which I found. I'm just gonna search here. So I started with uh, B and this seems to be trending. So I created a design for this. It's just a simple design, text design. So I'm gonna upload that design here. So first, when you're gonna add the listing, you're gonna go to add new work. And if you already have previous, uh, previous listings, and you can always copy existing work just so it's faster for you, it just auto like saves the format in which you put the list in for each each product. So it's just a faster way. So you're gonna click on copy an existing work. Then click here, copy settings. Then here, I already have the title here, be a better human, and I have the tags. So the tags we got in from here from Merch Titans, so. so you just click search. Does just like I said in the last video, it does take some time, so you just have to wait. Perfect. Then you're just gonna copy the first 15, first 10, and put it there. But in this situation, I already have the tags here, so that's fine. In the description, honestly, you can just put anything that you, you think is nice. And any keywords which we think will be important. Then I'm just gonna put that here. All right, so in this situation, if it doesn't, if it's not aligned properly, you're going to resize it. Always make sure the text starts from the top. So if you have it too low, it looks kind of weird. So just ensure it's always up here. Then click on apply changes. And just go through all the list and make sure listings, make sure everything is aligned properly. Put that here. Uh, yeah, so this is a new one. This is a new product. They never actually used to have hats until recently or caps. So this is a new product. You just realign it. That here as well. So far, the products have sold uh, shirts and stickers, mainly stickers, because that's what people search for on Redbubble. I've sold like a bed cover in the past. I've sold an iPhone case, sold a lot of stickers. So I'm just adjusting the text on each of the products. Yeah, so with these new products, which are what you see coming soon, it's always good to enable it. Just in case once you finally, once you're finally up, it just starts selling. So that's the same case for the hats, because people will definitely be looking for those new products. And it's always good to be one of the first people to get there. You also have some bat mats as well. Adjust.
and adjust the face mask as well. Yeah, face masks have face masks I've had honestly I've had a couple selling. Say like probably like three or four face masks masks sell. So that's pretty good. Then pins I've had quite a few as well. Just adjust. Always make sure it's in the center. And they also have aprons. Also keep in mind, if you're doing a, t a plain text design, always ensure it's large. Just so, because if it's large, if it's too small, customers wouldn't buy it. It's too small, they can't see it. So it has to stand out and it has to be really large. Perfect, so we're almost done. Then next, what you can do here is you can also put in collections. That's if you have collections, you can create collections. I can show that in the next video on how to create collections. Uh, but what we can do here is you can actually show what product you want to show on your storefront. So you can just choose whichever product. Uh, for me, most of the time, I always put it on T-shirts because that's what I'm targeting. And if it's a, if it's a product I, I think will be better on a sticker, then I just put it as a sticker so it shows up in my storefront. And after you selected which product you want it to be the default on the storefront, then you're gonna click here, just showing that you have the rights to sell this product. Then you're gonna save the work, save your work. Then you wait for that to finish. All right, perfect. So now you have successfully put up your first listing. So that's good. And you can just keep on doing that. Search for trends. Anything that's trending, that's good. And the more trends you do, the more likely you're able to make sales. So you can scroll down and see the products. If there's anything you need to adjust at any point in time, you can always go back and edit and adjust it. So that's also really good. So this is how it's going to look. This is what the customer is going to see. As you can see, it's really bold. And yeah, so that's it. And guys, if you have any questions, feel free to put in chat. I would also start doing some Redbubble store reviews as well. If you need, if you want me to do yours, you can always put your, your link in the link below. And... Just remember, you can follow me on Instagram, DM me there as well. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.